Hey guys and gals, let's take a look at a tiny house built with Lego bricks. So here we have Jay the Surfer on the entry. So this is the rear of the tiny house. Here's our entry to get inside. Pretty dark in there. We'll take a tour of that in a bit. The stairs do retract, so these do fold up. Pretty cool. That took a while to figure out, so I managed to get those to work. And I got a little tiny bay window here. Here's the side. Got our hookups. This is the ventilation for the refrigerator. Here's the range hood vent. And we got some windows and such. This up here is a second story. And of course in the front, it's rather plain and boring, but I got a little propane tank in the front. We gotta use that to fire up the stove and the furnace. And this side here. And it does rest on a flat trailer. We got some leveling jacks at the bottom. And I did use some of the profile bricks to simulate sidings. I just used the single groove. I put the brick brick part in the inside. This is just like horizontal siding on a building. The roof does easily detach, and it is one piece. It's nice and strong. And here we have the interior. So, got a little dinette booth here, loft bed. Right underneath the loft bed, there is a three quarter bath. And here we have ourselves a little kitchenette. Let's take a closer look. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the bedroom, or a loft bedroom. <laughs> so we have a nice comforter on this bed. So I did use the blue-green, yellow, and coral tiles and bricks with bow to give the bed a nice soft look and feel. And this just simply pops out. So that's pretty much what it is. And the reason why this pops out is so we have access to down here. We're going to take a look at the living area first. So here's a better look at the galley kitchen. Have our sink and some cupboards down here. A little oven and range and a little refrigerator and freezer. So I just used some 2x3x2 two by by two cupboards for these. Looks pretty good. And on this side here, we have our little dinette booth. I just used some standard chairs. They're just sitting on some studs. And these do not remove. I use the larger windows because when the minifigures sit down, they're going to have to rest their arm on this lip. Use the 2 by 3 flat tile for the tabletop. Pretty good. And right here, we have a little plate-built ladder with some of these rail plates use the steps to get up into the loft bed. Here I got a little hall with a little chest of drawers, store our garments and stuff. And here we have the bathroom door and this does open up. Does it help when you have big fingers to open up that door? So it does open up fairly easily to take you into a three-quarter bath. Gonna get a good shot of that there. So we have our toilet. You can probably use it as a compost toilet. Got our little vanity with the sink and mirror. And here is a nice cozy little shower. <laughs> and a minifigure can barely fit in there. And if you've ever been in one of these, yeah, the showers are pretty tiny. They're like a travel trailer or fifth wheel. The showers are meant to just go in there and rinse off. So it's not like a sunken tub or anything, but it's enough to get you cleaned up. And this was a very fun build to put together. I'm not sure how long it is, but I'm going to just kind of take a stab at it here. We have 8 and 14, so what is that? 20 studs long. So you got 7 here, 8 and 7. So be about 20, 22 studs long. And it's, of course, eight studs wide. And this project took about a week to put together. And had a bit of 
few issues with finding bricks for this to make it work and such, but for the most part it looks really good. And it is scale for minifigures. Um, here, it's just five bricks. They may fit in here. But the bathroom is just basically for show. <laughs> just to see if I can cram a bathroom or just use some of my fifth wheel ideas to shove a bathroom in there. But the whole point about the tiny home, let's see if it was possible to make one of these in Lego form where it could easily fit inside of a Lego city and it does and and yes that's a little window there too <laughs> it's like went all out on this project so tell me what you think of the tiny house built in Lego it's pretty cool